Hello and welcome back to another interesting tutorial. I want to say a very big thank you to you, my subscribers, and to those who subscribe now, you're welcome to the family. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Please subscribe now and don't forget to click the bell icon as this will notify you each time I post a new video. Today's video shall be on how to make this ruffle baby dress. It's made with a 180 degrees flare. So for this tutorial, we will use our satin. So this is one and a half meters of satin and this is three meters of organza or voil fabric. And this is my sequin. I've actually made my bodice already. In my previous video, I showed you how to draft the bodice pattern for little girls. So I've used that pattern, but the only thing I modified was the neckline. So for the back neckline, I used six inches neck depth. And for the front, I used 2.5. Then I've added long sleeves to the bodice. And here is my zipper allowance. I've pinned that in place. So we'll just go straight to how to make the ruffle with our 180 degrees flare. We're going to draft this pattern with a 90 degrees which is half of 180 degrees and we'll have to cut it on fold when cutting on fabric okay so first thing we'll have to do is to measure our waist circumference so we'll apply it right here now the waist circumference is 25 inches okay so we'll have to apply half of that on this point that means we'll have to apply 12.5 inches on this waistline so I'll be using a radius of 7.5 inches to derive my waistline of 12.5. So I'm applying that on this edge. Remember, this is just a square cut, which is a quarter of a circle. And that's why it's 90 degrees. As you know, a full circle is 360 degrees. So I've measured out 7.5 inches all around. I'll just link up this point. So that's half of my waist circumference. Now I'll measure the length of the skirt, which is 18 inches. So the entire length of the dress is 28 inches and the upper body is 10 inches. So 28 minus 10 becomes 18 inches. So that's the length of my skirt and that's what I'm marking at this point. So I'm marking my 18 inches all around. Then I'm going to link that up. So straight away, I'm going to cut this out. So this will be for my front panel. Next, I will divide 18 inches by six. Since I want it to have seven layers. Okay, so I'm dividing it by six. So 18 divided by 6 will be 3 inches. Now I have to mark 3 inches on the entire length of this pattern. So I'm marking 3 inches at this point and I'm marking another 3 inches. So I'm breaking them down by 3 inches. So I've cut them out and numbered them from one to six. Next, I'm going to place this on fabric and cut out. So to cut them out on fabric, I'll be adding half inch seam allowance to each side of this pattern. So to cut this on fabric, I've placed my fabric on fold. Okay, so you can see I've placed it on fold and I'm cutting from this edge. So I've aligned this edge properly on the folded part. Then I've left out 
half inch for my seam allowance you can make it up to one inch at this point so this is going to be both the zipper allowance and your seam allowance if you're using zipper okay but if you're not using zipper for your project you may not need up to one inch so you may just need just half inch to close up your seam so that's the allowance there So I've cut them all out from my first to sixth pattern. So I'm just numbering them on the seam allowance so that I will not get them mixed up. Okay, so that's in that order. Now I'm going to cut out the ruffle, which is with my voile fabric or organza. So for the ruffles, I'm going to cut um, four inches width. I'm using four inches because you know on our satin that we just cut that's the layered one each of the step was three inches so now i'm not going to cut exactly on three inches so i'm going to add half inch seam allowance to the three inches i will add another half inch to conceal the seams now i've measured four inches in total so since this is on fold i have a total of eight inches so that's the length i'm using for my organza so i'll just cut eight inches here so this is it now i will fold severally to get so many of the eight inches so now i've cut out all my voile fabrics for the ruffles so these ruffles can either be i will run straight stitch and do my gathers or I'll just make some tiny pleats around it. Or alternatively, you can use um, your ruffle maker if you have one. Just attach it to your machine and you're good to go. So just make your straight ruffles. So quickly, I'm going to join all the pieces, then make my ruffles and show you how to attach it on my flip. So I've made my ruffles and I've also sewn the flare by the side where I added my seam allowance. So now I'm going to place my ruffles between each of these flare pieces. So this is number one, number two, number three, number four, and this is five and six. So let me put this aside and beginning with number five and six we're going to pin the ruffles between the two pieces so now i'm going to derive the midpoint and place it on this sewn part okay this way i've gotten my midpoint i'm going to pin this then i'll do the same on my number five so i'm going to make a notch on this point and take off my pin so i've made a notch here just to know the midpoint so on this part as well I've, i'll make a notch on the midpoint then i'll also make a notch on this part and take off my pin next i'll align the back part to be number five then i'll attach my ruffle on this point okay so i'll attach my ruffle here then i'll align it with the down part of my number five like so then i'll pin that in place so once i've aligned these two points I will now sew. So I will align this point to the side. While sewing, just make sure the notched 
points align properly okay so this is it so we so to this point we pin it pin that edge so we pin our two notched points that's here and here pin them then we'll continue so now i'm going to sew around it just the way i pinned it i'm going to so it's all round and show you. So I've joined number six and five. And I've also joined number five and four in the same order. So now I'll join four and three. Okay, so this is my number three. I'll also fold it into four, just the way I did on number six. Then I'll make my notches on the four points yes. to indicate the midpoint and the sides of my notches. Then on this point and here as so. These notches will align with the front, the back, and the two sides of the, the skirt. So now we'll align this back side of my number five. Align it to the bottom of my number three. So I'm aligning number four and three like so. That's the bottom to the top, number four. So I've also sewn my ruffle. I've joined the ruffle. I've also joined my ruffle to the exact measurement of my number four. So I'll just attach it here from the point where I joined. This point like so. the bottom of my number three like so, and pin it in place so I'll pin the three of them together So basically what I'm doing is aligning the top of my number four with the bottom of number three while running the ruffles between the two of them. So that's just what I'm doing here. And I've aligned that from my first to the last notch I made. So now I'll just sew all around. I'll sew around it. Then I'll do the same on the other pieces. That's my number two and one. So I've sewn all the layers and this is what the finished work look like. Okay, so this is each step and that's the wrong side and here's how the front looks like. So this is it. So lastly, I'm going to attach my, my bodies to this skirt. So to do this, I'll just align my bodies. So this is the back piece. This is the bodies. I'll just align the back from the zipper allowance I created. I'll align it to the back one at this point. So this is where I'm going to attach zipper if I need one. So 
I'm going to pin these two points like so. Then I will pin it round to the skirt and sew it around. Then attach my zipper. Once you've sewn the bodies to the skirts, you need to do a top stitch, just a tiny top stitch on the bodies, just to hold this last piece to make it to flatten out because after attaching it it will be popping up like this so you have to do a little top stitch and put up the inseam to be on the bodies then you now run your stitch there once you're done doing all of this to finish up your work you need to overlock these raw edges or you can fold them in and cover with bias binding so that is all about this dress Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this tutorial interesting and helpful. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not done so and ensure to click on the notification bell to get notified when another video pops up on this channel. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.